There is a question that came up a lot on the degenerative disc disease video we did. People were frankly not happy with me for suggesting or saying that people can have degenerative disc findings on an MRI and not have pain. And that somehow by saying that, I was minimizing people's, people who are going through pain from their disc. And of course, I was, I was not trying to do that at all. I, I, I miscommunicated or didn't communicate thoroughly enough. So I, I wanted to try to take a moment to articulate what I was trying to get across. And that is that on an MRI, you can have findings of an annular tear in the disc or degenerative disc disease. And those, those MRI findings can exist in somebody who is pain-free. But at the same time, those, MRI those same MRI findings can exist in somebody who is in misery, who is in 10 out of 10 pain, who can't, can't get off the bed. And it is to no way minimize the pain that that person is really having from the disc. It's just, it's important that when we get an MRI, that we remember that just because we see something on an MRI doesn't mean that that's necessarily causing the symptoms. And so we need to put the findings of an MRI into the context of the whole patient. And that's why we end up treating patients and, and not just MRIs, right? People can have horrific pain that come from discs. And also people can be going through life with an MRI that looks bad, but they're not having any symptoms. And it becomes especially important when someone gets an MRI for something unrelated and someone tells them that they, they have these disc findings and they think, but I, I feel okay, am I supposed to do something about that? And the point is, no, those can be just part of the disc going through wear and tear. But that's not to minimize the fact that somebody can absolutely have horrific pain from the disc. And as someone who's had disc pain in the past, I know that that can be extremely painful, extremely debilitating, and we take it very seriously but again, to contextualize the MRI when you get those diagnostic studies.